The default setting on your Uniden Guardian system ensures maximum quality recording. If you want to improve your storage capacity, you can adjust any or all of your camera resolution, frames per second, or bitrate settings to save disk space. The best way to access the full range of capability is through the main menu. So let's go through the key functionality under each icon, starting with Setup. When your system comes up after you finish the Setup Wizard, you'll see a grid with various camera shots on them. Right-click the mouse and a variety of options will come up. We're going to scroll down to the main menu and then click on the Setup icon, and we're going to start with Basic. The first line in Basic asks for System Type. You can either leave that as Home, or use the mouse to click on the word Home, and an on-screen keypad will come on that allows you to change the name to Office or Store, or whatever you want to name the system. System Number. If you have several systems in place, like one at home, one at work, you may want to number each one differently and give each one a unique name. Password Check. Do you want the system to ask for your password each time? Click Yes if you do. Next line is Show System Time. In most cases, you'll want the system time to show on screen and in your recordings, so you can see what time events occurred. Next is a setting for max online users. For most systems, 5 to 10 online users is a reasonable number, and if you need more access or less later, you can always go back and add more. Video Output 1280 by 720 is standard viewing for most security systems, but if you have a really high-end monitor, you can crank that up to 1280 by 720 or lower if you have a really small monitor. Next, you choose the language here. With Logout After, you can fill in the number of minutes you want to elapse before you're automatically logged out. I usually just leave mine on Never, so I can log out whenever I'm ready. And you'll probably always want your setup wizard to be active, in case you ever need to reset up your system. Down at the bottom, you can default back to your previous settings or apply the new ones. Next, we go to date and time. It's really important to set the date and time because if you want to retrieve any videos of unexpected events, you're probably going to want to search by date and time so you don't scroll through weeks worth of footage. Default settings will be GMT6, which is Central Standard Time. This next line is the date format and that automatically defaults to a month, day, year. Time format. You can choose 12-hour AM-PM format or opt for 24-hour military time. On the time zone, there is an adjustment off Greenwich Mean Time. You can just skip this and set the time manually below, or you can figure out a time offset if you really want to. For setting the date, just click that little calendar right there and choose the current date. The times can be set manually by clicking and getting these little keyboards. Daylight Savings Time if the area you live in utilizes daylight savings time, you can enable DST and adjust the start and stop time. 